Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own sublimation designs in Canva. If you're not already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for every time that I do a new video. If you've ever worked with Adobe or Photoshop or even Procreate, they have something called a clipping mask where you can put pictures or even colors inside of it and it kind of looks like a watercolor or a distressed design but when you're using Canva they have something called frames and basically frames are the exact same thing and you can put a picture or a gradient or anything inside of it and it will take on the shape of that frame so that's what we're going to do today to make this sublimation design so I'm just going to use this distressed looking frame for this example today and this is a popular looking style that you'll see with a lot of sublimation designs that you buy or a lot of sublimation t-shirts. Now that you have your frame you're going to want to find a photo or a gradient to put inside of it so I'm just going to search for glitter just to put in this frame. I do have Canva Pro so I'm actually able to have access to a lot more of the photos but if you have the free version there's still a lot that you can choose from. You can also choose to do a frame inside of a frame, but if you do that, what you want to do first is you want to go ahead and you want to lock your first frame or your first layer. And once that's locked, then you can add another frame on top of that and then add another picture in the frame. If you don't lock the bottom layer, it will try to add the picture in the bottom frame. So you want to make sure that you lock that bottom part first. And now you have a frame inside of a frame. So now I'm just going to add some text and do something simple just for this example. And there's a lot of fonts to choose from if you have the pro version. If you don't have the pro version, there's still a good amount, but I do like the, the different fonts in the pro version a little bit better. Now that you're done with your artwork, you can save it as a PNG. If you have the Canva Pro, you can save it with transparency. If you don't have the Canva Pro version, it's okay. You can still save it as a PNG and it won't be transparent, but with the sublimation printer, you can print it out without a transparent background. And because your printer doesn't print white, it still won't print out with any background. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please make sure you leave them in the comments down below. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for every time that I do a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.